Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Um, it's about 25 past seven. Um, I remember a time when my first night sleeping in Spog was always a disaster. And the second night was fine, but the first night I never slept well. That doesn't happen anymore. I always sleep really well in Spog. It's just a thing now. It's just, I don't know if it's because I've made Spog so super cosy and me or if I'm just used to sleeping in Spog periodically now well, for whatever the reason is um, it's lovely I've had a lovely sleep I have popped a bit of makeup on I'm just doing my hair now I've got dressed um, and I'm popping next door to my neighbours Daryl and Keith um, they rocked up I think it was about 10 o'clock ish last night maybe a bit later we had a cup of tea and a chat and then um, we went our separate ways, went to bed at about, well, half eleven, something like that, I think I came back here. Um, and then I've heard Billy pull up, um, who's another van lifer, um, you know, goes on his adventures and has his camper as well. We've we've camped with Billy back in the November pre-pandemic, pre um, but I haven't seen Billy, I think, since then so um yeah he's he's pulled up in his car and he's having a cup of tea next door in amble with with the naughty boys as i call them and um so i'm heading over there next but i just need to put my hair up i've got this funny thing going on I'm quite sure what it is um but i'm gonna put my hair up i'm gonna put my hoodie on i'm gonna head over This was last night's park up, just outside Wigan. There's windmills in the distance, don't know if you can see those, as in the power creating windmills, not the flower making windmills. And we're in the car park of a nature reserve. Here is Amble, part next to Spog. It's a bit blowy up here. And a visitor. Hello. Hello visitor. Hello. It's Billy. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Here are you? Morning. sheltered spot because it's very windy but we have been highly recommended a what is it a pie shop? pie shop a pie shop by Billy so we've taken detours to find the pie shop haven't we do you know that Wigan's famous for pies are we still in Wigan well, is it the Wigan area Wiganish. this is a Wiganish area and we're going to have a Wiganish pie <laughs> a pie shop and not have that they look nice. Well, you're only coming to look. No, I'm not coming to look. I've got a black berry, black currant pie. I know it's wheat. I'm not starting this very well, am I? And a sausage roll for breakfast.
my guides have pulled over into these services I get the feeling they might be telling me it's tea o'clock there seems to be a farm shop and cafe thing here let's find out shall we is it tea o'clock well it could be as well but we wanted to show you our very very favorite Oh, these are your favourite motorway services. These are lovely. I, I just caught the camera out and went, I think it must be tea o'clock. We have pulled into a farm shop. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's, it's, the okay. lovely, it's always been the loveliest service. It does look nice. I'll come, I'll come view. You can even have a cup of tea if you will. I will. And a wee. Yeah. <coughs> Family room. Louise going that way. Is it his age? Is it? And the showers are all in there, are they? In like the separate doodars. From their farm. You don't often find a farm shop at services, or a farm shop being services. Oh, look at the breakfast pack. Except I don't. That's that's that sausage, isn't it? That black pudding. Black pudding. That's the one. That, that's sausage. That's sausage. And it is a, it's a family business as well. Oh. Sourced from our own farm or our network of local suppliers. That is not a bad price for all that. I don't know what a Henry is. Though. A Henry. Henry. Oh, maybe it was called Henry. Henry's going to taste delicious. That's okay. <laughs> no, no, you carry on. It's all part of the atmosphere. <laughs> oh, look at those. Look, 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 look. <gasps> look at the colour. That is really nice. Is it? What, what is it? I can't it's read It's berry it. beetroot. Oh, ooh. Yeah. It, that'll be really taste. soft, won't it? Nice really, yeah, taste. moist. Choc chip. Mint choc chip. That's cake in there as well, is it? Cake bombs. And that's rhubarb and custard. Almond and apricot. They're like posh Tussocks tea cakes, aren't they? Mm. Dark orange slices, oh my goodness. Banging Brussels. They're from my end of the country. Is it? Yeah, Cotswold. This is like Lee and Kenzie in particular, heaven for them, I reckon. Although Lee, uh, Brendan's quite keen on a pork pie we had oh look 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 haggis neeps and tatties all in a pie mm. with mashed potato on the top at the rhubarb festival we bought some pork pies topped with rhubarb i still need to really watch that nice. video you know which video your rhubarb festival oh have you not no. what popped up then i thought it was a rhubarb one that came up the veggie version Vegetable Bolarian egg. Oh, and a vegetable Bolarian jumble roll. We decided not to stop for tea, but we did end up buying nice things. So I've ended up buying us chocolate beetroot brownies, those ones that I've just shown you in the video, because they were so nice looking. And I decided this is it. I'm getting very bloated and uncomfortable. Need to stop with the gluten like I did before Christmas and I got really bad before Christmas having treats. Come away with them and I've not managed it. I've had a sausage roll, I bought myself a little berry pie at that pie shop and now I've bought us beetroot chocolate brownies. No willpower is what it is, no willpower. But we've decided not to have a cup of tea, we'll carry on to our park up spot 
can't be that far away. I did forget to ask, but probably like half an hour or so away, I think. And then when we get there, we can have a cup of tea and our beetroot brownies. Apparently this covers all of the history, well not all of the history, but a chunk of history of Maryport. It's got the Roman stuff up there at the top. And then it goes down to mining and fishing. Don't think those boats are going anywhere right now. Look a bit settled. Big clamshell thing down there. Just there. Daryl and Keith have told me that they actually um the fishermen come in here and then pull up here and sell their fresh fish on the quayside. Which is nice, you can't get any fresher than that, can you? There you go, this must be it. The next boat isn't due until Monday morning. There's the sea out there, all the way out there, and I'm assuming that's the edge of Scotland that I can see in the distance. If I uh, have positioned myself correctly, I'm pretty certain that's Scotland. Oh, well, apparently the crossing is closed. Can't get over. If you can fly, you can feel the need for some refreshment. We'll see how hospitable the fish are at this place and the sharks. Definitely feel the need for this nice cup of tea and we might possibly be having bacon bats. We might have been persuaded. We might have been. It's his fault. He, he saw them. I read the menu. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Properly. Pip is trying to convert me. I've actually got Tea. 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 Enjoy it. Well, Here, hold coffee. on. We've got to do cheers. 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 <laughs> I am being good with the roll. I did order gluten free. Even if I have been eating cakes and we'll continue to eat cakes through the rest of the uh, trip. That does look good. And those are the normal ones. Thinking of buying a boat. How much do you think they cost? Should we go see? You get rental for like two minutes of a boat. A pound for one play, but it doesn't tell you how long you get to enjoy your boat for. 